every time when we think about eating yogurt, we always buy yogurt like this. Just imagine one cup of yogurt is a few tablespoons, but how much the plastic, how much the garbage we create at one time that we eat. That's a lot. So that's not a lot of yogurt, but it's a lot of plastic. So this thing, I think, is not worth it. Because we pay quite a lot of money for this plastic, but we don't eat plastic. After we eat yogurt, we throw everything away. The most beautiful plastic, we never use it again. So I think my solution right now is my family eat yogurt quite a lot. If we keep eat yogurt every day, we're going to fill up this whole world with plastic, bot plastic jar like that. So I'm going to make my own yogurt. The idea is just to use less plastic. And the second thing is to save money because we don't have a lot of money. When we buy yogurt, this container, if it's organic, it costs maybe five, almost six dollars. But if you buy organic milk, this jar can be five or six dollars organic milk. But this jar, you can make two of this. So we save half of the price. So if we keep doing like this, I think we can make our life easy. We can make it easy. The first thing is we need to bring the milk to boil. When we make yogurt, one thing that very important to know is to boil the milk first. Because many people think normal milk is pasteurized already. There's no bacteria, there's nothing in there. They just warm it and use it. But actually, sometimes you success about that. But mostly, you fail. It will be slimy. It's not very good. This is the example that we, we made to show. This one is just liquidy and slimy. This one we just warm it. But this one is good, it's hard. This one we bring into a boil and let it cool down before we put the starter in there. So it's quite different. And if we want to see, uh, this one is hard, it's nice like this. It's good. Hmm. This one is boiled, but this one is warm. When it's warm, it's like a slimy, like this. So the temperature is very important when you boil. So when it starts to boil, when we boil milk, we need to keep watching when it's about to boil. When you see it's bubbling like this, that's good enough. If we keep longer, it spill over. That's good enough. And then after that, we let it cool down. But normally, when you, if you have a thermometer, you can put thermometer there. If it's uh, rising up to 180, that's good enough. Fahrenheit, 180 Fahrenheit, that's good. But if you don't have thermometer, don't need to buy it. Just bring into a boil like this, that's good enough. And then let it sit. Let it cool down until it 110 or something like that. But normally, we just use our hand to test it. We'll show it later. Before I start it, normally I will clean the jar very well with hot water. After we bring it to a boil, I let it cool down until it's about 110 uh, Fahrenheit. And then if you don't have thermometer, just use our finger to test it. If you feel like it's warm but not hot, maybe you can stay a long time. That's, that's good enough if you're warm. But if you put it there and then you count, and you cannot keep it longer than 10 minutes or 10 seconds, 
Uh, that means it's too hot. So that, that's good enough. The reason that we bring into a boil or make it up to 180 Celsius uh, Fahrenheit just to kill all the bacteria. And then the reason that we want the temperature to going down up to 110 is just the good temperature for our good bacteria to grow. And then when the good when we got the temperature as we want, we can add the starter. Starter is just normal yogurt that we've got from the market. You can use uh, uh, plain yogurt from any brand, any company is fine. So it's good back to bacillus or everything in there. So we just add in maybe one or two tablespoons is good enough. And then stir it. So to make sure that there's no lumpy in there, but after that, you just pour in the container that we clean it already. And put the lid on. The next step is just get a thick blanket, as thick as you can, that you can hold the heat better. And then you can put yogurt on the blanket like this, and then wrap it around like this. Make sure that there's no, not a lot of space inside. Make it tight like this. We can keep like this for at least four hours, even turn to yogurt. But if you keep longer, it will be sour. Normally, six to 10 hours is good. Many times I just leave it for overnight, it's perfect, especially in a uh, hot climate. So. If you live in cold climate, you maybe make it thicker blanket than this. It's good. Hmm. 